Right, okay guys, um, now I've decided to make a little video for uh, a few observations of uh, hitting a ball with a bandy stick um, and a little bit of a uh, conversion for hockey players for the, um, the shot statistics sort of um, differences. So, <laughs> here's your bandy stick. Okay, one of the main differences being like in hockey, a shot from the heel, as in like a slap shot style shot, is the most powerful kind of shot you're going to get this with your stick. But unlike hockey, the heel of a hockey stick is here, right at the bottom, if you can see that. where the blade first touches the ice as you're holding it. Now, the heel with a bandy stick is actually going to be somewhere right in the centre of the curve. Okay, now with that bearing that in mind, the most powerful shot you're going to get on this ball is going to be with the heel of the stick about where it's going to be for a bandy ball and a bandy stick, okay? Now, the relationship to golf comes into direction of travel of the ball. Now, if you hit that stick two-handed, facing where you want it to go, in that heel of the stick, it will go directly straight. Now, if you want that stick, that ball, to go top right hand corner for instance you're going to need to be hitting that ball more towards the end of your stick if you're right handed facing on the goal so looking at the goal behind me that ball is going to be placed around about there and as you swing into that you're going to, if you want to go top corner you're going to have to angle your stick it's going to be a bit like that and it's going to go end of the stick underneath it will get the lift and go to the right hand side if you want to go directly down the center you're going to want to be heel of the stick okay so the heel of the stick is basically on a bandage stick it's basically where that stick touches the floor when you're holding it so it's your height if you're short it might be low around here it might be further around the curve if you're taller it might be further towards the front of the stick Okay, but for, for, for me, I think it's generally coming out about halfway around, around the curve. Now, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you a direct forward shot with the heel. Heel of the stick, around about where the ball is. And it's two-handed, and it's like a golf swing. Straightforward. Do that again with a hockey practice ball. Okay, heel of the stick, swing, directed forward. That's going to be your most powerful shot. Now, to get that ball to go top right, for instance, like I was just talking about, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's going to want to be more towards the end of the stick. The right hand side of the stick as I'm direct, directly facing the goal and to get it up it's going to want to be slightly underneath okay so not here not the heel but more towards there slightly underneath to get that ball up in the air and here's what it should look like okay I'll show you that again with a hockey practice ball Again, as I hit that slightly towards the end and underneath to go top right. Top centre of that one. So there's the differences. Now there is definitely a direct correlation to like golf shoot shots. So if you slice the ball to you to your extreme right, if you're a right-handed golfer. Um, it's going to be because you hit the 
the right hand side of the stick or, or you open the face up so as you hit it the stick's opened up and gone off and the ball's gone off to your right um, same with a golf shot if you're hooking it by accident round to the to the left it's because you're positioning on the ball you're probably far you're probably slightly too far behind so you're ending up catching further back around the hill which is making it go off in that direction okay um, and then again like you've just seen from trying to lift it the more straight your stick's facing the and the more over your stick you get the more direct and low the shot will be now if you want it to go up high you're going to need to be slightly behind the ball and you're going to want the stick angled upwards okay i'll just show you what it looks like between getting over the stick and getting un uh, getting over the ball and getting under the ball for a high or low shot So a low shot is going to be, your shoulders are going to be over the ball, your body weight is going to be forward, and it's going to be, with your stick pretty much direct. You're not going to want your stick underneath it because it's going to go high, so your stick is going to want to be pretty much direct or slightly angled down. Okay, so you're going to hit that ball, strike it with, with your weight over it. Okay. Now to lift that ball, you're going to want to angle your body different. So you're going to want the ball to be slightly in front, which allows you to then angle your body backwards before hitting it, and to have your stick slightly curved, so it look like that from the front. So, you, so your stick's going to hit the ball underneath, which is going to lift it up out the air, into the air. Okay, that's a few tips on hitting a ball with a bandy stick. Keep it in mind and practice that. Cheers.